Hello guys, welcome to another lesson of Learn Android series. In this lesson, we're going to learn about how we can access views from the layout files. Okay? So, resource reference. In Java, what we do is basically we have this uh, folder called R, then we have the layout folders. You say r.layout and then you retrieve your file with a file name using the IDs. In XML, you have at the rate um, and then you have your folders or whatever files you have for the you know components and then you have your layout and then you have your slash file name okay so another important thing to consider is that we use an ID for the reference it is the convention of finding the views on the layout of the app for accessing and for that reason we use this method which is known as find view by ID hence the name so what you do is once you open your um, file from Java right the back end and for example, I'll just um, give you a quick demonstration. Maybe um, I'll have to explain it later on for that, for your better understanding. So for example, I have this app, right? Now, um, I have a button here, click. Now nothing happens, okay? So to give it a functionality, I need to write something on the Java code, right? Now the thing is, um, every time, uh, let's say I press the click, how will I understand this was the this button? right so that is why I need to retrieve it from the folder so th these are the resource folders on the left as you can see I've got the manifest folder I've got the Java folder I've got the resource folder this re res and then you have the layout right so in the example that we've shown you before uh, where we were telling you for the resource reference right r dot layout dot file name right so for the Java retrieval what we do is r so let's go back here again. So we have R for the resource, then we have the layout, r.layout, and then you can retrieve your XML file, whatever it is. And then from that file, you can retrieve your whatever um, view you want to retrieve or assign some functionalities to, right? And if it's um, XML, what you do is basically you have your XMLs here, right? So you put it at the rate, okay? So I'll give you a quick demonstration for this one as well. Mm. If you go to the strings.xml, as you see here, we have a string app name hello world, right? So the app name has been saved with hello world. Now, um, if I have this one, this is giving me an error, as you can see here, hello world, right? The text view. So it's saying me hard coded string hello world should use at the rate string resource. So basically, it's telling me not to use a hard coded text so that, you know, it becomes difficult for it to retrieve once we have a big app. So that's why you should always use a string resource and you should, uh, the convention is save all the strings here, okay? And then you just write down the string name at the rate in the same format we as we've shown here, at the rate strings slash name, the name of the string, and you can retrieve it easily using the find view by ID methods, okay? So um, if it's not clear now, I will explain more in depth when we do some simple exercises so that it will be, cl it will be cl more clear for you, okay? So, um, for example, for this one, uh, we can fix this, extract string resource. Now, what's going to happen is resource name is hello world, resource value is hello world, okay? So, just uh, have a look at this hello world. This is a small letter, okay? So, once I put okay, the create resource in the values folder, what's going to happen? So, let's go to our string XML under next. You see now we have a name, string name, hello world, and the value is this capital hello world. Okay, so this is how you can extract or retrieve values from, you know, XMLs and the Javas. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day.